went out and about on an African game drive. The Big Five is always the main attraction. The successful marketing of the Big Five has led to the creation of a Little Five. These are the less noticed but still enigmatic animals of the bush fell. Introducing the Leopard Tortoise, the Lion Ant, the Elephant Shrew, the Rhino Beetle, and finally, the Buffalo Weaver. The Buffalo Weaver is the largest weaver in South Africa. Its name derives from its habit of following African buffalo feeding on disturbed insects. When it comes to breeding, they roost communally in untidy nests. A single male can have up to 8 females, and only 3% of avian species have a phallus, with the buffalo weaver standing out amongst them all for its placebo penis. By the way, this is not a buffalo weaver, this is an oxpecker. Oxpeckers and buffalo weavers are both known as oxbirds in Africa. As you can tell by now, the little five is named after the big five, at least in English. Next up, we have the lion ant. There are around 2,000 species of lion ants, give or take, giving them a worldwide distribution. Americans know them as turtle bugs because they draw lines in the sand when they walk through the sand and because of the traps that they build. They are known for their predatory behavior, specifically of their larvae. Their larvae dig pits to trap passing ants, although not all species do this. In their mature form, they kind of look like they are dragonflies, but um, dragonflies are typically more colorful. Our third member of the little five family is the elephant shrew. There are 20 species of elephant shrews and they are some of the fastest small mammals ever recorded, reaching speeds of over 28 kilometers per hour. These animals are not closely related to other true shrews, instead they are much more closely related to actual elephants. These insectivores are also sometimes called jumping shrews because they can jump up to 3 feet into the air. They can live up to 4 years and are ready to reproduce at 6 weeks old. They kind of resemble mice but slightly larger and they have a snout that functions like that of an anteater. One final un usual trait of these shrews is that the females have menstrual cycles that are very similar to those of human females. Most mammals have a mating season instead of frequent menstruation which means that they are able to produce multiple litters annually. Africa supports more species of land turtles than anywhere else. The second last animal on this list is the leopard tortoise. Like other turtles and tortoises, they have no ears but can sense vibrations that help them navigate their environment. They store water in a large anal sac that takes up most of the space in their abdominal cavities. This is an important physical adaptation to their environment. It's ill advised to pick them up because they will evacuate their bowels onto you and this can lead to dehydration that could be fatal for the animal. Their biggest threat in the wild is humans collecting them for the pet trade. Their lifespan in the wild is not well documented but their average lifespan is likely between 80 and 100 years so potential pet owners need to keep in mind that these tortoises could likely outlast them. Their gender is determined by the weather making climate change a huge risk to the species disappearing. Our last animal is the rhino beetle. Rhinoceros means nose horn. If you didn't know, rhinos are the second largest of the big five and the rhino beetles are the second smallest. I think that's kind of appropriate. You might know them by a different name as the Hercules beetle. There are about 1,500 known species of rhino beetle. The cool thing about them is some species are known to lift up to 850 times their weight. One way they use their strength is to dig themselves into a leaf litter and swell to escape danger. They can grow up to 6 inches long, making them some of the largest beetles you could find. Rhino beetles could be regarded a pest, but their numbers tend to be lower than other pests when pests first start to appear in your crops. And even if you do have rhino beetles in your gardens or on your plantations, they tend to feed on dead wood anyway, so the trees are probably dying already. Just like the leopard tortoise, they make excellent pets, especially in the Asian markets they are beloved because they are regarded as safe to handle and easy to maintain. Also, they are used for gambling fights since the males have a natural tendency to fight each other for retention of females as well as dominance over an area that produces good sap for the beetles to feed on. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. I'd appreciate if you could leave a like and a subscribe to my channel.